Okay, if you're someone who loves pistachios, then you are going to fall in love with this rich, nutty, super soft pistachio cake recipe. The cake layers are made from scratch using real pistachios and they're filled and topped with a super creamy and not too sweet pistachio cream cheese frosting. Now, before you start on the cake batter, you wanna preheat your oven to 180 C or 350 F conventional and grease or line two eight by three inch cake tins. These cake layers are on the thicker side, so you do just wanna use a slightly deep pan just to make sure that your batter doesn't overflow. And to grease my tins, I'm just using my homemade cake release. Now just set your cake tins aside for now and next we're going to add 175 grams or one and a quarter cups of pistachios to a food processor and process them until you have fine crumbs. You don't want it to be super fine, but you don't want big chunks either. So just process it until you have mostly fine crumbs with a few small chunks. It should look something like this when it's done. Now you just wanna set the pistachios aside for now. We'll be using them later on in the recipe. And next we're going to sift together our dry ingredients. So I've got 300 grams or two and a third cups of plain all-purpose flour, 25 grams or a quarter cup of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And then using a whisk or fork, just give that a good mix until it's well combined and then set it aside for now. Next, you just wanna grab a large mixing bowl and to it add in 113 grams or half a cup of room temperature unsalted butter, 105 grams or half a cup of unflavored vegetable oil, I use canola oil, and 332 grams or one and two third cups of white granulated sugar. And then you just wanna use a hand or stand mixer on a medium speed to cream that all together for two minutes until it's light and fluffy. This is just going to help incorporate air into our batter, which is going to give us a fluffy cake. Next, add in three large room temperature eggs one at a time, mixing on a low speed, making sure that each egg is mixed in well before adding in the next. It's really important to make sure that your eggs are at room temperature, otherwise it's not going to mix in with the other ingredients properly. Okay, now once that's done, then next you wanna add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract or essence, half a teaspoon of almond extract or essence, one teaspoon of white vinegar, and 168 grams or three quarters of a cup of room temperature buttermilk. Now this recipe uses one and a half cups of buttermilk in total, but we're only using half of it at this stage. And then you just wanna use your mixer again to mix that in on a medium speed until it's well combined. Now, once that's all mixed in, just get all of the batter off of your attachments because we're going to put our mixer away because the rest of the mixing we're gonna be doing by hand. By mixing the remaining batter by hand, it's just going to make sure that we don't overwork our batter and you know end up with a dense cake, which we don't want. So add in half of your pre-mixed dry ingredients from earlier to the batter and gently fold that in until just combined. You don't wanna overmix it. Then next you wanna add in the remaining buttermilk, which is another 168 grams or three quarters of a cup. And again, fold that in until just combined and then add in the remaining dry ingredients and fold until just combined. As mentioned earlier, if you overmix the batter, then you're going to end up with a dense cake instead of a fluffy one. So just mix until you can't see any more streaks of flour and the batter is evenly mixed. Okay, now to finish off the batter, we're going to add in the crushed pistachios from earlier, as well as a teeny tiny bit of green food coloring. Liquid or gel will both work fine because we're only using a very small amount. And just keep in mind that you only want a pastel green color, not a deep green. So just make sure that you don't add too much in. You can always add more in later on if it's not green enough. And then you just wanna fold that in until it's just combined. So now that it's mixed, I just wanna add in a teeny tiny bit more green. I just want it, you know, a slightly greener color, but try not to over mix it when you add more coloring in. So only mix until it's just combined. Okay, so I am happy with the color now, and now I'm just going to evenly distribute this into our pre-prepared cake tins from earlier. Once that's done, I just like to weigh my cake tins to make sure that I have an even amount in each cake tin. And then you just wanna level out the tops, drop them lightly on the counter to remove any large air bubbles. And now these are going to go into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes 
or until a toothpick comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs on it. So my cakes are done baking now, they smell so 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 good. They've been cooling in the cake tins for about 20 minutes just to allow them to firm up a bit. And now I'm just running a thin knife around the edges to release the cakes from the cake tins and turning them out onto a wire rack to completely cool. Now if you take a closer look at the cake layers you can see just how incredibly soft they are. Now while these cakes are cooling we're going to go ahead and make a super creamy and not too sweet pistachio cream cheese frosting. So to a large bowl add in 340 grams or one and a half cups of room temperature unsalted butter, 375 grams or three cups of powdered sugar also known as icing or confectioner's sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract or essence, half a teaspoon of almond extract or essence, and 120 grams or half a cup of room temperature whipping or heavy cream. And then using a hand or stand mixer, mix that on a low speed until everything is well combined, and then turn up the speed to a medium high, whipping for a full 10 minutes, scraping down the bowl halfway through. Now this is quite a lot of mixing, so you can totally use a stand mixer for this. Just make sure that you use the paddle attachment when using your stand mixer. So once you're done, your frosting should be very light and fluffy. If it's not, it just means that one or more of your ingredients were too cold. So just pop the frosting into the microwave for like five to 10 second bursts, giving it a mix in between each burst until the frosting is a bit softer and then re-whip it. Be careful not to overheat the frosting though, otherwise it will turn into a soupy mess. Now once you have a super light and fluffy texture, then next you wanna add in 112 grams or half a cup of cold cream cheese. Make sure that you're using a firm cream cheese and 70 grams or a half cup of crushed pistachios. I just pop my pistachios into a food processor like I did when making the cake batter and then just mix that in until well combined. Avoid over mixing those, so just mix until the frosting is nice and smooth. Now that is our frosting pretty much done, so you can just leave it like this if you prefer, or you can add in some green food coloring, which is what I'm gonna do, just to give it that, you know, slightly kind of pistachio green color. Again, gel or liquid colors will both work fine because we only wanna use a small amount. Okay, and that is my fluffy, creamy, pistachio cream cheese frosting all done. So my cake layers are completely cool now, which means that we can start decorating. Now, before I start stacking this cake, I'm first going to level the tops of my cake layers so that they're nice and flat. And then I'm also going to do an extra step, which is trimming off the caramelized edges. This extra step is optional though, so you know, you can totally skip it if you prefer. Once that's done, my first cake layer goes onto the cake stand, and then I'm just spreading out a generous amount of the pistachio cream cheese frosting on the top with my offset spatula. Once that's done, my next cake layer goes on top, and again I'm just spreading out a generous amount of frosting on the top and sides of the cake so that the cake is completely covered. Next I'm using my cake scraper to smooth out the sides, and then I'm also using my offset spatula to bring that top lip of frosting into the middle of the cake so that I have some nice smooth edges. Now to finish off, I'm just popping the remaining frosting into a piping bag with a 1A large round piping tip on it and I'm just doing some piping around the top edges of my cake. Now you can go ahead and add, you know, maybe some more crushed pistachios on the top or the sides of the cake for a bit of extra deco, but that is my pistachio cake all done. This cake has the most wonderful pistachio flavor running through it. The cake layers are so super soft and the pistachio cream cheese frosting just adds a wonderful creamy element to the cake. Mmm. So, so good. If you're into nutty flavors, you are going to love this cake. I love that the pistachios add kind of like a bit of a crunch to the cake, which contrasts so well with that really creamy pistachio cream cheese frosting. So that is it for today, guys. If you do decide to give this wonderful pistachio cake recipe a go, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out, and I really love hearing from you guys as well. I'll see you in the next video.